for our players or Coach Howard, please. Anyone? Go ahead. Thank you. Joan, even since the summer, you've talked about breathing confidence into Brandon. Is that something that you've seen kind of take shape recently, or is this a, a trajectory that you think has gone all season? This is something that's happened all season long, game by game. Uh, this is not just for the day. Brandon's been playing great for us all year. Uh, a lot of things that he's been doing for this team to help us win is things that doesn't really show up on the box score. So what's happened today is you know, he got off to a great start. Uh, finished the game with 20 points, but the points is not what shows up for winning. You know, it's effort, it's attention to detail, uh, being there defensively, being able to guard one through four, uh, being a rim protector of the basket. Uh, just remain confident and efficient. My teammates are helping me out a lot, and my coaches to be confident and um, just play my game. Um, so. How you doing, Coach? Um, Cal Griffin, Old Bay Hoops. Um, can you talk to talk to us about your your, your de defensive pressure today, and um, were you satisfied with the defense in terms of the effort that your team put forth today? Well, I start with, and I know the guys are not gonna like this, but I know that it. You know what I'm saying, but I say this is that I'm never happy with our defense. I've always feel there are areas where we can improve on. Uh, I thought there were times where our defense has a little bit of defensive stops uh, in the first half, and then the second. We gave up offensive rebounds, giving them another second chance opportunity, which in the first half they had 10 offensive rebounds. Uh, you know, there were times on the defensive end in the first half where we gave up open shots to their shooters, uh, which they were two for. Excuse me, it was three for six, or three for seven, or something like that in the first half. No, was, I'm sorry, it was five for seven. Yes. So we had a defensive breakdown, which was mental mistakes in the first half. So they owned it. Uh, they made some great adjustments in the second half. Uh, did a really good job of contesting shots, uh, keeping guys in front of them uh, by moving their feet, because we knew that they had some guys who could really take the ball off the dribble and make plays at the rim. John Xavier, this is the best back-to-back -back game stretch for, for Brandon. I guess, what have you guys seen in terms of his growth these, these last two games? Um, I've seen so much growth from him. Um, not just start from the hard work. I mean, practice every day. Um, just putting forth effort. And we trust him to go out there. Um, and unfortunately, not his hurt. But Brandon knows his role. He's, he's coming in doing a tremendous job for us, um, bringing that energy, um, scoring, getting rebounds. And I'm glad to see that every day in practice, that he brings that energy, the same energy um, that he has all the day. David. And also to add, I'm just so so proud of Brandon. Um, he's a guy who's been through a lot since his freshman season, um, coming into the season with a new coach, um, new offense, and, new, and a lot of different things. But he managed to keep his head up. He worked hard every single day in practice. He gives us his all. He's locked in. Uh, before the game, he's sitting down with Coach Howard watching film. There's a small thing like that, I feel like, coming into play now. Um, I feel like his hard work is <clears throat> definitely paying off. He's been in the gym lately. He's been asking questions in, in the practices, asking questions for the players, things he can improve on. At the end of the day, just small things like that add up, and he's I'm so proud of Brandon. This hard work is finally paying off. Andrew? Brandon, well, first of all, did you get that in the game today? <laughs> you did. I did. It seems like you often kind of come out of games or practices with that. Is that just? I guess it's just a given for me now. Um, but I'll take it. I'll give everything I have to help the team win. So, then, you know, two straight career high games for you now to do it in Big Ten games against good competition. I mean, do you feel that confidence kind of going? Another level. Yeah, I do feel the confidence going up, but I also want to keep it up to steady head. Um, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I also don't want to go back to where I was earlier. So um, I think just staying mentally stable um, will be good for me. Coach, can you talk about um, the side hope and um, how you guys restrict the pain in the second half? Well, we always uh, talk about protecting the paint uh, defensively. It doesn't mean that every game it happens. We had a point of emphasis that we understand a team that's really good uh, on the dribble, uh, off the dribble, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they have guys that can you know, break you down offensively, uh, get into the basket. We want to make sure that we give them a crowded area. Uh, we want to make sure that we can test every shot. Uh, just the, the last part of it is the rebounding, which uh, I keep harping on is an area that we must improve on if we want to be uh, one of the top teams in the Big Ten. Um, fellas, I have two questions for you. Uh, is how does it feel to get a big win like 
assist at Madison Square Garden? And also, how do you like playing for Coach John Holland? Um, to get a win here, um, it's special. Anytime you're able to play here, um, it's, it's a guarantee of a lifetime. And so, um, I mean, Larry Dave and I haven't played here before, but for the younger guys to come in and experience this, and um, just that crowd going back and forth, you know, and then they can turn the game up here. So I'm getting that feel for that, and I'm um, just happy we came on top. And then I'm um, just playing for Coach Howard. Uh, we all love doing that. Um, he's a tremendous coach. He's always teaching us and helping us, and he's always ask, asking questions. And um, he's just leading us in the right path right now. Juwan, what did you take away from Rutgers' attack class? Wow. <laughs> They're ex an excellent offensive rebounding team. Keep coming back to that. But attacking the glass, you know, they're going to attack the glass because they're long, they're athletic, and they're quick. They also have two bigs. Particularly Johnson, that is super long, and he goes to the glass uh, to clean up everything. And uh, it, it talks, you know, you got to commend them and respect the fact that they are a hard working team, um, they're a physical team, and they're an athletic team. Uh, Xavier, John, I was like, what was it like going into this game facing Rutgers? This has been a program that's been very different from the start of your guys' 10 years at Michigan. What was it like facing this team now? How different is it versus the Rutgers that you guys faced your first couple of years? It was um, actually very different. Um, the guys were out there, you can tell they were locked in. Had a great coaching staff um, that was extremely engaged the whole 40 minutes. Um, so it, was, it wasn't surprising because I watched them when we watched them on, and we knew the type of mindset and mentality that they came to play with. So it was good to have a chance to come and compete at Madison Square Gardens against Rutgers. But um, yeah, big, um, big props to them because they definitely are a tremendous team. Um, that's that's where my teammates are for. They helped build me up. Um, my coaching staff made sure that I didn't feel like I missed a game. Played that as if I just played last game. So I want to come out here and just make smart plays, play as hard as I can, play as smart as I can, make sure I'm consistent out there. At the end of the day, um, I just want to give it all to my teammates, um, make sure I'm working, working hard, finding them. Rutgers had a great defense, and today I thought it was key was just finding the open man. Uh, uh, Juwan, against Illinois, you guys kind of struggled down the stretch with foul shooting. Um, how nice was it to kind of see you guys close it out uh, with your line tonight? Well, uh, it was great. It was great that our guys stepped up there and uh, knocked down some uh, shots that we needed to knock down. Uh, we stayed with it uh, through the process when Rutgers was making a run. Middle stability, you know, on all levels. So, uh, give our guys a lot of credit on the fact that they have uh, been working extremely hard, staying together, uh, teams making runs, staying mid poised, uh, and then keeping that middle stability that we always uh, talk about as a group. The takeaway on this game, Coach, uh, you you outplayed them in the first half, you outplayed them in the second half, you outshot them percentage wise. Um, stop! Stop! <laughs> this this dude play over here. I, I understand that, and that's that, you know you you said a lot of good things about it. this game. To me, it was a grind. It, yes. They were they they played tough with those offensive rebounds, twenty six of them. Um, my question is, moving forward, you guys uh you guys look like the better team out there all game long. But the thing is that you beat them by six points, and they grind it away. They're a tough team, and uh, building on from this game moving forward. How do you think it's going to help you? Well, it, we're growing. We're truly growing uh, game by game. Uh, seeing how the adversity that we've faced throughout the year, uh, losing a guy like Isaiah Livers uh, for a long time, and then missing our best, one of our best players uh, in the last uh, Nebraska game, and then they're coming back to this game, and then going through some of those games of where like you discussed earlier, 26 offensive rebounds, and still being able to, you know, control the basketball, control the game in a way where it will give us the best chance to stay in it. Uh, some of those turnovers truly hurt us as well, but being able to stay the course during the turnovers because we didn't make the compound mistake down on the other end when we make a turnover. We go back on the other end and put our heads down. We stayed with it, and you're right, it was a grind. The Big Ten Conference is a grind. Um, you mentioned earlier about Illinois. Where we lost the game at the buzzer. That was a grind. We learned how to win games where you get down um, during the last.
last two minutes and find a way to cut, cut through it. Uh, we lost the game uh, in overtime versus Oregon. Uh, we learned from that one. But we came back and won a game versus Purdue in double overtime. So we, we're growing. We're, we're taking uh, steps in the right direction, but there's always areas to improve on it. They know it. Uh, we watch film all the time. We work on things in practice on how we can get better. And we're going to continue to keep doing that throughout the season. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone.